Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com, our update for Saturday, June 8th, 2019. We got a lot to talk about, gonna get to it in a second, including our Saturday free pick. First, a quick note, if you have yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. Use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, it all starts the trial run by clicking on the link below the video, free $60 account awaits. Go grab it. I think you'll be glad that you did. Coming to you a little bit early on Friday, as we promised. So none of our games have gotten final yet on Friday night, uh, but we did want to come a little bit early because we wanted to tell you that our UFC picks and our Belmont matchups are available right now, Friday night, as I speak. And that includes a seven unit play on the UFC 238 card on Saturday. Big seven unit play, two and O card posted. Here's what we've done. We started releasing our fight picks around last August, last September over at DocSports.com. And we've gained over $4,000 for $100 per unit betters. And I've only released two picks of seven units or higher. One seven unit, one eight unit. We won both. We went 2-0. and oh. My third seven unit play in a UFC in the fight game since last summer goes on Saturday. It's available right now as I speak over at DocSports.com. Let's go 2-0. and oh. Let's make it 3-0 and oh with the seven unit plays and extend that profit to almost $5,000 for those wagering $100 per unit. Also, the Belmont matchups, I got two of them for Saturday. They're available right now at DocSports.com. Listen, I know the Triple Crown lost its luster, no doubt about it, ever since the Derby, uh, but you can still make some money. We're four and two through the first two legs of the Triple Crown with our head-to-head -head matchups. Two more on Saturday at the Belmont. We'll look to finish up the Triple Crown six and two with our matchups. Those picks available right now at DocSports.com. As far as everything else, I've got three baseball sides for Sunday, excuse me, for Saturday, three baseball sides that will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I don't normally have three, four, five baseball plays on one card, but we do for Saturday, and those will be available Saturday morning, DocSports.com, as will the WNBA. We'll be in WNBA action on Saturday, also available 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific time. So grab it all, including that big seven-unit play, the lead play in a 2-0 UFC 238 card, all available at DocSports. Dot com And of course, the fights and the matchups of the Belmont are available right now as you're watching this video. All right, we're going to get to our free pick in just a minute. Want to return to our NFL thumbnail sketches today. The Green Bay Packers over under wins total is nine. Listen, Aaron Rodgers has to get used to the new coach, has to get used to the new system, and he probably will. Uh, listen, he's also coming into the season with that motivation, that chip on his shoulder that last year wasn't his fault, but it was a case of the coaches and the coaching staff and the system uh, getting a little bit worn out and getting tired of that system. Him. He's going to have that motivation chip on his shoulder. We truly believe it. And listen, the guy only threw two picks last year. Imagine that. Crazy numbers, two picks in a season for Aaron Rodgers last year. Unbelievable stuff. Here's the thing as far as the offense is concerned surrounding Aaron Rodgers. Not crazy about his targets. They got Devontae Adams and who else? I mean, as far as you know, top-level receivers, Adams is the only one that jumps out at you. So they're going to have to develop a, a little bit of a rapport between Aaron Rodgers and the rest of his receivers. Run game ought to be okay. It won't be great. It'll be okay behind this offensive line. The defensive side of the football needed a ton of adjustments from last year. Couldn't get much of a pass rush on opposing quarterbacks. They shored up that problem in the offseason. And I love the draft. The Green Bay draft in 2019, A grade across the board every single round where they had a draft pick. I love the kid Rashawn Gary, uh, the outside linebacker out of Michigan. I love the, the uh, safety they got with their second pick out of Maryland. I think they shored up the obvious problems that they they needed to look at in the offseason and listen are they going to go from weak to great in 2019 well probably not on defense but weak to good is a heck of a start uh, from the way this team played or this unit played a year ago so improvements on defense, offense, not too sure about yet. And then there's that schedule. And I'm going to throw on the glasses here for a second because I want to tell you exactly what they got coming. They've got first five games at Chicago, home Minnesota. They've got a date at home with Philly. They've got a game at Dallas. Home game against Denver comes between or after Chicago and Minnesota. That's not an easy start at all to the season. Weeks eight and nine, the Bears are at Kansas City and at the Chargers in back-to-back -back weeks. And two of the final 
final three games back in the division against Chicago and Minnesota. That is an ultra tough schedule. If they get off to a slow start, it might not go as well as Green Bay's hoping with the new coaching change. I think nine wins is right where it should be because I think Green Bay is a nine win team in all likelihood. And I would kind of lean towards under nine if I had to. Now I don't have to and neither do you. I think nine wins is the right number for the Green Bay Packers in 2019. And as I've said before on any of these games where I'm taking a pass rather than making a play on the over under wins total, if we do add it to our bets, add it to our list, uh, that very same night I will post that on our videos to let you know if we're adding them to the mix. Uh, but Green Bay, we think nine wins is right where it should be with a slight lean towards the under. That's our Green Bay thumbnail sketch. On Monday, we'll finish up the NFC North, and we'll do that with the Minnesota Vikings. A lot of folks like the Vikings as a sleeper this year. We'll tell you what our thoughts are on the Vikings on Monday's report. All right, before the free pick, again, real quick, big Saturday, couple of the plays you can already get. UFC 238 available now, including my third high-end elite level play in, in fight game ever since I've been at Docs. We're 2-0 so far. Uh, we got a seven-unit play, lead play in the 2-0 card for UFC. UFC 238, and I've got a pair of head-to-head -head matchups in the Belmont, and we look to finish up the Triple Crown with a 6-2 and two mark over the three races uh, with our head-to-head -head matchups. Those plays available right now over at DocSports.com. Of course, baseball, three plays, and WNBA will be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern on Saturday morning, so be sure to check that out. And don't forget to get uh, to sign up, I should say, for that free $60 account, that trial run. It all starts by clicking on the link below this video. Free pick for today, for Saturday. We're going to look at the Yankees and the Indians, the game in Cleveland. It'll be CC Sabathia going up against the kid, Adam Plutko. And listen, man, this kid for Cleveland, oh my gosh, he cannot keep the baseball in the yard. How about a 2.66 home runs allowed per nine innings pitch ratio this season and last? He's given up like 26 homers in 88 innings pitched, and now he's got to face the seventh best home run hitting team going into this weekend in Major League Baseball in the New York Yankees. As far as the other side is concerned, you know, CC Sabathia, he should give you a, a, at least a five full inning uh, situation or start for the Yankees. That's what he's done all year. Listen, all I want is maybe three runs out of the Cleveland Indians. I think the Yankees can do the rest on their own against this kid for uh, Cleveland. I just mentioned what his numbers are. Just gives up home runs left and right. You know, two of his last four appearances last year, he gave up three home runs in each. Two of those last four. And again, he gave up uh, four home runs in a recent start uh, to Tampa Bay. We like the over. Now, I know the total's 10, but we think this one goes over that posted total. Yankees, Indians, over the total of 10 is your free pick for Saturday. I'll be right back here Sunday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. And by the way, we'll have those NASCAR matchups for you late Saturday night for Sunday's race at Michigan. All right, I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. You know the drill. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here Sunday morning.